The Army Expeditionary Warrior Experiment is an Army Futures Command annual experiment hosted by the Maneuver Center of Excellence as a live prototype assessment for soldier and small unit modernization. Hi, I'm Major General Pat Donahoe, Commanding General of the Maneuver Center of Excellence at Fort Benning. Hey, welcome to this year's Army Expeditionary Warrior Experiment. And so really what we're gonna do uh, over the next couple of days is really look at all of our emerging technologies and how incredibly important they are to get our live prototype testing done uh, with soldiers and units. So thanks for, thanks for coming out and being part of this. AEWE 2021 priority efforts focused on tactical UAS resupply at the forward edge, small unit UAS integration, sensor to shooter capabilities, MDO implications of artificial intelligence, or AI, robotics and autonomous operations at the tactical edge. AEWE is primarily a maneuver experiment, but includes capabilities from the combined arms team. However, this year, the Maneuver Capabilities Development and Integration Directorate, or CDID, partnered with the Cyber CDID assessing cyber capabilities integrated at the small unit level. AEWE is a perfect laboratory to bring industry, Army labs, academia, and the acquisition communities together into a rigorous operational setting to find solutions to small unit modernization challenges. For many, this is an important soldier touchpoint to rapidly iterate capabilities. AEWE 2021 continued our long tradition of international participation to help assess novel capabilities and technologies. This year, an infantry section from the British Army's Royal Irish Regiment and a Dutch Army robotics team helped answer learning demands on small unit modernization from commands and agencies across the Army enterprise. Through the course of AEWE, soldiers evaluated 42 capabilities that will inform concepts, TTPs, current programs, research initiatives, and industry internal investments. Last year, AEWE 2020 broke exciting new ground on autonomous UAS resupply capabilities. This capability demonstrated a means to extend the fight, help with soldier load, and reduce risk to manned aircraft. The results were briefed to the operational force, which is enthusiastic about providing this capability to an IBCT to further evaluate. This year's AEWE is working with the operational force to expand this capability, evaluate improvements, and develop concepts and TTPs for a potential IBCT evaluation. The Marine Corps is on a similar pathway. We were also excited to host the future vertical lift cross-functional team this year under this year's AEWE umbrella. The Future Tactical UAS Rodeo showcased the latest capabilities for BCT-level tactical UASs and brings those capabilities to the forefront of the operational force. The Maneuver Center of Excellence helped define the capabilities and requirements as we seek to improve UAS capabilities for our BCTs. This and other UAS efforts in AEWE help further define our capabilities and integration of the BCT UAS strategy that will soon have UASs at all echelons of a BCT. We continue to evaluate sensor to shooter potential at the small unit level. We know that UASs provide the capability for out of contact fires. AEWE will evaluate other sensor integration to help in target locations and identification, such as acoustic, electronic, chemical, seismic, and other sensor types. AEWE included prototypes of the latest tactical small unit radios. The assessment was an example of the iterative nature of successful touch points to assist program manager tactical radios and the Cyber Center's Army Capability Manager Tactical Radio with operational feedback on radios and waveforms of interest. And of course, in our quest for better soldier power solutions, we evaluated new power supply capabilities and better charging solutions. Hi again, I'm Major General Pat Donahoe, Commanding General here at Fort Benning and the Maneuver Center of Excellence. Thanks for being part of this incredibly important AEWE 2021. 
I really do appreciate uh, your involvement in making our Army better uh, through experimentation. And if, if you haven't been involved in experimentation before, hey, we welcome your involvement uh, going forward. It's critically important to developing the technologies, the tactics, the techniques and procedures uh, that we're going to use to fight the next war. So thanks. One force, one fight.